How are you? My name is Matthew Modine, and I'm in the Criterion Closet looking at unbelievable titles. You have to get down on your hands and knees because it's not fair to all these filmmakers down here who happen to be on the bottom row because there's brilliant films all throughout every rack of movie here. Where's Tanner? Robert Altman, who I had the pleasure of working with three times. Uh, I did a play with him in London at the Old Vic, an Arthur Miller play. And I did uh, one of the films that's in the Criterion Collection, Shortcuts. I'm um, not sure where that is, but Shortcuts. Uh, and I had the great pleasure of working with Julianne Moore amongst all the other brilliant actors that are in it. But this is amazing, this Tanner 88, uh, because what Robert Altman did was follow the, 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 uh, the, uh, an election that was taking place. And the, the brilliant, uh, Michael Murphy, he he uh, he pretended to be a politician that was running for for office. I think at some times uh, he actually felt that he really was running for office. Here's another Robert Altman title, uh, the player uh, that Tim Robbins uh, was in with Greta Skaki and and an unbelievable cast of of actors uh, from from uh, from show business that Robert. Everybody wanted to work with Robert Altman because he was so cool and working on his sets, that the, the freedom that he allowed actors to have, the, the, uh, uh, the experience was just like not working on anybody else's movie. Uh, Night of the Living Dead, my father was a drive-in theater manager, and I watched this movie in the projection booth of the drive-in, it was called The Highland, in Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, I was much, much too young to have seen this film, and it damaged my at least 10 years of my childhood of, 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 of just being scared to death that these zombies were going to come out and start consuming my flesh. Midnight Cowboy. This played at my father's drive-in. This is directed by John Schlesinger. And Midnight Cowboy, when it came out, it was rated X. And it played at my dad's drive-in. So I told you, we were living in Utah. And this movie... Uh, the Mormons threw my, my dad and our family out of Utah basically because of this movie. This is amazing. This is Black Stallion. This is directed by Carol Ballard. Carol Ballard, uh, I had the pleasure of working on a movie that Francis Ford Coppola, he, he produced this, Francis Ford Coppola, and he produced the movie that I made with him called Wind. And Wind is about the America's Cup, and I had the pleasure of working with the the... Uh, 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 the most amazing sailors in the in the world, and it was it's a it's a beautiful Carol Ballard. This is a beautiful movie, Black Stallion, and B Carol Ballard is best. He's the best filmmaker when the actors are not speaking. That he he's like a documentary uh, uh, filmmaker that uh, that captures moments rather than tries trying to create create moments. Uh, here's another film by my friend Stanley Kubrick, who I worked with on Full Metal Jacket, uh, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Uh, uh, Stanley said that he want, told me that he wanted to make a movie that was a serious movie about the doomsday machine and about nu nuclear proliferation and nuclear warfare and the, the, the terrifying aspects of it. But the more he did research, the more he realized how stupid the entire thing was and that you couldn't make a serious movie about this because the the absurdity of, of, of human behavior and, and, and human the, the industrial military complex was it was so ridiculous that the only way that you could really make a good movie about the nuclear war and nuclear bombs was to make a comedy. This is an amazing movie. Stanley Kubrick told me that when I was this age, I should do a, a remake of this uh, movie. It's an Akira Kurosawa movie called High and Low um, uh, with Jashiro Mifune. And it's a story about a man who, who worked his way up from a shoe factory making shoes to becoming an executive at the, uh, the shoe company. And then his child is kidnapped, or so he thinks. The, the kidnapper took the wrong child. They kidnapped his butler, his, his servant, the person that works in his house. They kidnapped the wrong child. So and then he's faced with the moral dilemma. What do I do? do it's not, you know, it, it's, a, it's a great movie. It is the conclusion of my uh, Criterion uh, 
uh, being in the closet with the Criterion Collection. And I, I'm, now I've got a lot of uh, viewing to do. So if you'll excuse me. <laughs>